Dr. Hollowell from Z Urology. We're going to be performing today the first ITIN procedure in the state of Florida. So I'm going to do a new minimally invasive procedure. We're going to demonstrate how the procedure is done today and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. All right, so here's the I-10 device here. So it's placed into the bladder through the cystic soap sheath, and we'll manually put that in, and then we'll come back and then we'll look around it and we'll see and deploy it once it's uh, in the bladder. And through the sheath itself. One of the tricks to the I-10 procedure is that this line will be at 12 o'clock, so we're just going to place it in the bladder until I feel it deploy and I feel the lack of resistance there so I know it's in the bladder now. We're going to now remove the insertion sheathing here and then we're going to come alongside of it with the cystoscope. So we're going in alongside the retrieval suture here. We're into the prostate and as you can see this gentleman has not such significant lateral loads but he does have a high bladder neck. So I'm going in at greater than 60 degree angle to get into his bladder. And so this will be ideal for the IDEN device. Now, you can see the device now that's in the bladder itself. I can rotate it from side to side, but this uh, tongue or lip that we have here, we want that in six o'clock position. So we're gonna come back and we're going to place this within the prostate itself. So we're gonna deploy the uh, cage. As you can see, this gentleman has a high bladder neck here. And so we're gonna pull this back into the prostatic channel and sit at the base of the bladder neck, the, the, the lead Point at six o'clock. <laughs> All right. That's good. So this is where we're gonna leave this now and this will expand over the next seven days and then leave us with almost like a mechanical TUIP to give us this kind of permanent opening and reconfiguration of the bladder neck and its prosthetic channel. Dr. Hollowell, Z Urology, Fort Lauderdale.